Hi, everyone, and welcome to Western Author Spotlight Podcast with our host, Frank Fiore. Frank, how are you? And you know what? We're getting close to this book launch finally, and you're going to be going with a new publishing company. You're really excited about going with uh, my publishing company with Paul Hollis called Hollow Man Publishing, as we're going to publish all four of your Western novels, right? That's correct. And then two to follow. It's really a six a six book series. But I got the first four written, and uh, excited to have those launched. Let's talk about the first one that's going to come because we've talked about every book as we were doing marketing, marketing, marketing. If especially if you're following Western authors uh, or Western uh, Western uh, the Western group or whatever for P Frank Fiore and any of the stuff. But tell us about the the, the one that's going to come out first. Well, I, as you know, I'm a multi-genre author. And how I start all my books is uh, with a what if, okay? And the series, Jonathan, uh, excuse me, Jonathan Smythe, uh, Cowboy Sleuth, is basically based on a what if. What if, uh, what, what if Jack the Ripper, who disappeared, nobody knows really what happened to him. Did he die? Did he get arrested or whatever? But, but what, what if he came to the United States? He escaped to out west, out, out, out of the United States in the late 1800s. And from that, I, I put together a uh, Jonathan Smythe, who is a uh, amateur sleuth in England, who, who tracks and traces uh, the 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 the, uh, uh, the the murders uh, by Jack the Ripper, and he's you know he knows a lot about him. And his theory, and this is a, one of the theories, uh, that uh, Jack the Ripper actually escaped to to to, to go uh, out to out out to, to America. So I put him out west, and I have Jonathan Smythe, who is a who is a, a gentleman uh, Englishman, okay, bolo hat, all that stuff, well dressed, what have you, and he goes out west for the, to, in order to look for Jack the Ripper. And each book deals with a Western myth, okay, uh, whether you believe the Western myth or not, and uh, and but it's a it deals with a very brutal death or brutal murder. Uh, the the myth does. And so Jonathan Smythe uh, thinks that hey, okay, that 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 could be Jack the Ripper, and he goes out and he follows through on that on that myth. And the uh, last book, the the fourth book, which I really want to publish first, takes place in Prescott, and uh, where I live, and uh, it, it works with the myths of the tunnels, like all of the, the tunnel network underneath the uh, underneath the the, the the city of Prescott. And back in the eighteen hundreds, that was created by the Chinese that came in to do the railroad work and something, but of course back then the Chinese were really looked down upon. In fact, they were you know the, the people were very bigoted against them, and they would harass them and what have you. And so they built this tunnel tunnel network underneath the city of Prescott for them to get from one place to another without having to be walking through the streets and getting harassed. And so. These ton the, the Jonathan Smythe and Abbott, Charles Abbott, he's his cohort that goes with him. Uh, they go out to Prescott in order to investigate a, a murder uh, that actually did take place. Uh, that's true in uh, in Prescott. And and by investigating the murder, they get involved with knowing that the murderers are hiding in the tunnels and what have you. And that's that's also some basic facts too that was going on back then in the 1800s. And so I brought it together the story. Uh, of the of the uh, myth of the case of the Prescott Tunnels, where he has to find out why people are being murdered, why people try to be kept out of the out of the tunnels. Wow, you know, and you think I think it's such a great story. It just intrigues the heck out of me to go after Jack the Ripper, but picking specific books that involved Western with Jonathan Smythe, uh, and he has his sidekick, which we'll talk about in another episode, and having them go out and try to chase Jack the Ripper. And we'll find out if they are in, in different time periods almost, would you say in the Westerns, a little bit different time period, each one? The late 1800s, no, you know, the turn of the century. That, but, that's when Jack the Ripper- But, but different areas of the West, right? Oh, yeah, different areas of the West, yeah. Yeah, and how the West was won in so many ways. And I think it's different. I don't think anyone's ever written a book like this, right? No, not with a character being an English gentleman. <laughs> no. <laughs> And, yeah. That, and that, yeah, I, I see it as a definite book uh, movie. Uh, if you could really expand on this series, and that's really interesting. People need to definitely go check it out by going to frankfiori.com 
and very soon. And make your sure you sign up to his email list and start to, uh, you know, follow all social media sites because soon those books will be announced. He also has Moran coming out very soon. Just be ready for that one and uh, get Cyber Kill and Daijin right now. Appreciate it, Frank. All right, well, thank you very much for the opportunity. All right, that, that was the Western Author Spotlight Podcast. Guys, take care.